The news you count on. NBC2 News at 5.30. Naples is getting to work to protect neighborhoods from flooding. Now, it doesn't take a hurricane to put streets under water. We've seen it with heavy afternoon storms, especially in downtown Naples. We have, and NBC2's Ryan Arbogast is giving us a look at how this major project will help protect the city of Naples. From this massive barge sitting off the coast of Naples to this blocks long construction site along 3rd Avenue North to the beach. Today's first dig was 10 plus years in the making for our local leaders. As you're seeing more and more storms, you're seeing more intense rainfall in a shorter period of time and without an adequate stormwater system in areas, you're not able to control flood. Public Works Director Bob Middleton is spearheading the $86 million project. It will upgrade the city's stormwater system and protect flood-prone communities, starting with the first street on the beach, Gulf Shore Boulevard North. Those were put in many, many years ago to collect and get rid of stormwater at a time when the city wasn't developed as it is right now. So now we just need a new and improved system that will get rid of these beach outfalls and provide a more reliable pumping system. The city says high tides like these in the Gulf of Mexico are why their stormwater pipes are inefficient. When they're underwater, they fill up and then Gulf Shore Boulevard floods. This is a gravity based drainage system along Gulf Shore Boulevard and we're transitioning to a mechanized one that will push against uh, surge and also push against uh, high tides. Uh, to make sure that the streets are getting cleared of water. We've already seen work begin over the past two years. Crews drilled 1,500 feet to shore from this barge on the Gulf, and pipes were laid from above ground once the holes were built. The city manager says now that mechanized system will go into place. City crews will remove eight outfall pipes along the beach and build two pump stations at 3rd and 8th. Construction is expected to be completed at the end of 2026, and if all bodes well, other flood-prone areas of the city could see this work done too. One of the lowest lying areas uh, is along the Bay Aqualane Shores. Uh, River Park East is another one uh, in the north end in the Park Shore area uh, is another one. Reporting local today along Naples Beach, Ryan Arbogast, NBC2.